Today, we'll see how to optimize the rotor speed of the FAE hydraulic mulcher by setting the VT, or variable torque, motor displacement. To carry out these operations, we'll first need to gather some tools. You're going to need a caliper, a rev counter, a set of fixed wrenches, a set of half-inch ratchet wrenches, a set of quarter-inch ratchet wrenches, and some measuring tape. After we've gathered our tools, the specialized technician will check the hydraulic connections. During this process, the technician should ensure that the oil delivery and return hoses are connected correctly and that the drainage hoses do not exceed the maximum pressure recommended by the installation procedure. The hoses should go directly to the tank without crossing other hydraulic connections. After the technician has confirmed that all the hydraulics are connected correctly, the operator in the cab makes sure that the excavator's capacity corresponds to the capacity indicated on the setting data plate. If the data coincides perfectly, it is only necessary to check the rotor speed. Otherwise, the setting procedure continues. The technician removes the mulcher panels to access the internal compartments. Using a wrench, he completely unscrews the bolt that regulates the oil flow. He then removes the cap of the min displacement screw and sets it according to the technical table. The technician measures the motor RPM with the tachometer and reduces them by adjusting the flow valve according to the table. He proceeds in this way to set the minimum displacement until the recommended RPMs indicated in the FAE installation procedure is reached. Finally, he checks the RPM for the last time and confirms that it's correct to the operator in the cabin. 